situation. So that's on me. Hey, come on now. Turn it over heel, something. Oh, you ain't in there, huh? It's that time, y'all. Four o'clock. Wait on folks to get to them. They're gonna be naive. Hey, hey, what up, BC Southern Fried? We back. Uh oh. Turn it around. Hey. <laughs> Y'all live right now, Sunday night. We live, we live, we live. Sunday afternoon. Well, night out yeah, there. Yeah, Sunday night, Sunday afternoon. afternoon. Essentially. Whatever day this is being played back on YouTube. Mr. E, baby. Hey. Southern Fried, baby. <laughs> What's up, DC? Hey. Oh, there you go. Hey, hey. Say something, Mr. E. Yo. Okay, I hear you just fine. You know, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. It is about that time for Love and War Radio. How your Sunday uh, going so far, or your weekend? Mr. Man, it's, it's good. It's good. I can't complain. Yes, good. Lord. Right. Yes, Lord. Yes, I Lord. can. You know. No. We is not going to complain. We is not going to complain. <laughs> not today, What Satan. happened? We was just playing some, and then I can't play the theme song. Oh, that's you all know right. What? The devil every, is a lie. Every time. Welcome it's back to this. Love and War Talk. <laughs> yeah, I am your girl, D-Light. And I'm Ebony Mose. It's that's boy, right. Mr. E. Hey, you know, we do this every Sunday mm -hmm. and sometimes in the middle of the week, too. You know, yes. weeknights, Wednesday, Thursday nights. Yes. Uh, Love and War Talk, we talk everything, relationships, sex, marriage, cheating, baby mamas, baby daddies, thoughts, side pieces. We talk it all right here on Love yes. and War Talk. And if you do have something you want us to talk about, make sure y'all email us at loveandwartalk at gmail.com. Yeah, now, today's well, topic. Which one of y'all want to go well, ahead? Well, we're going to talk interracial dating, but how about that yellow beezy, Mr. E? <laughs> hey, triple D, triple D. Triple D, that. Yellow beezy, man. Yeah, the triple D, that. What up, King Solo? <laughs> yeah, man. Um, yeah, what's up? What's up with uh, what's out there? What's going on with yellow beezy and the uh, triple D? You know, we, we out here in LA, but we still want to know what's going on in the Dallas music scene. Yeah, man. You know, the check been signed, man. Yellow beezy, he's been doing it for a long time. Been doing yeah. it for a long time from Oak Cliff, you know, my hood, Holly Hills, Oak Cliff. And, uh, man, the check been signed, man. You know, he got a situation with L.A. Reid right now, and it's, it's, it's looking pretty cool, man. L.A. Reid don't play, so. Yeah, like, I mean, you know, he was behind Future's career. That's him right. Him and Rocco. Yeah. Yeah, yeah so right. if, uh, I was trying to get the name, uh, what's the name of that, that record label? Because we know, you know, he was Arista, Epic, LaFace, and what's the new, oh, Hitco. Hitco, Hitco. Yeah. so he signed yeah. with Hitco, L.A. Reid's new label. Yeah. yeah, that's what's up. That's what's up. And, and DJ Deuce, thing. DJ Deuce is, you know, shouted him out and uh, been influential in his career. You yeah. know, people, the Shout radio DJ station, Deuce. DJ. Yeah. I heard Deuce. him on Power One Hundred Six out here the other day too in L.A. LA. Uh huh. Man, so y'all spends out here in Cali. Triple D, stand yeah. up, y'all got Triple you D. one, another one. Triple D. <laughs> Yeah, yep. man. All right, now back okay. to the top. Okay, interracial dating. Because <laughs> she just so the you know, we call DJ. Mr. E is a producer. Right. Uh, Triple D, the movie. <laughs> he represents Triple D to the fullest. And you know, we was on the radio in Dallas, so we still want to. We still in the know. You feel okay. me? So shout out to Yellow Beezy, his whole crew, everybody <laughs> right. out there. So, anyways, this show is about relationship. We hot already talked about, it. <laughs> and I'm just starting it off. Let me do me. But I'm saying I just All right, said right. That. But I, I was going to transition, and, and that's okay. about this topic. Anyway, so go ahead. do you, and I'm gonna do me. Do it then. Okay. So you anyways, show take up everything. but this is a relationship talk <laughs> show, and interracial dating is a topic that came up. We get a lot right. of. We get a lot of emails about interracial dating. And so you was like, you know, what? There, man, it's so many women out there of all races. They be on brothers so hard. Our yeah. brother our brother just said the same thing to us. He was like, man, I be getting chose by white girls, Mexican girls, <laughs> Asian girls, whatever. You know, they be on brothers tough. So we wanted to talk about that. We wanted to talk about the attraction, right, Ebony? The Mr. Attraction. E, the attraction yeah. of other race of women that that are so attracted to black men so we wanted to get down to the bottom of that let's get down to the bottom of it well why do you think well uh i think first of all i think the people like who they like um i was looking on ebony's page when she posted uh 
the, the topic for this week. And um, I, I noticed that a couple of responses was, you know, people like what they like. And first and foremost, you know, people are entitled to, to like and, um, you know, just desire what they desire. Now, right. there's an, n another part of it. And I think that on certain levels, the word is that um, white women, especially, but just other races, they fetishize black men. Mm. Now, we don't know why. This, but I know we know we know why we had to consult with our yeah, friends. I just wish we had a big eggplant eggplant float across the screen right we now. Do no, uh, I emojis. I don't know about that. Emoji. Because you just you we were just talking and she Ebony was talking about white women can or white men can be just as uh endowed, well endowed. as as um, as black men. So if it's not that, what is it? What's the trait? Because you can look at so many famous women out there, Kardashian. Her out of four sisters, all three and a mama, three and a mama and a mama now. That's wait a minute. But that's we don't six. want none of the black men that they have. Look at the black men but that they I'm have. But then I'm just saying, I'm just <laughs> you gonna have everybody's fans coming after us. I ain't trying to fight for you. Not one of them. I ain't trying to fight one of them niggas. Go ahead. <laughs> the, those women are all dating black men. Are attracted to black mm -hmm. men. Have children by black men. Black men. I love mixed babies. We, we try to get we mixed babies. See, our mama, we are my mama didn't like white men. Period. See, she had one bad experience, maybe a no, couple she bad experiences. Bad, one bad experience. Yeah, we know she had some bad experiences, but once she went black, she never went back. She had all my mama, children by black her, man, married a black man. She just just was our raised. mother had had she was only had attraction towards black men. Okay, and she had a she had a profile on black people meet. How can your I, white I, mama <laughs> got a I, profile on black can, people meet? Can I interject real quick? Go Please. ahead. The male perspective. And then I want to get to some of these comments. The too. male perspective. <laughs> your mama was fine. She you was. know what? I am not. <laughs> and you back know, in the right days, too, though, Mr. E, <laughs> when I look back at some of them pictures of my mom back in them days, you, her feathered hair, she was fine, Mr. Honey. E got an old white woman fetish. And she was pulling tall really? black men. All three of our daddies was tall. Tall, like oh, ball black player man. Negro. Oh, fine yes, black man. Ball player man. You got right. me. You sure, mama, right. mama used to pull them. That was back in the 70s, Please. man. And we, we're products of a biracial relationship. So we just want to talk about it, y'all. Yeah. Our family is very blended. A lot of our stepsisters and stuff are married to, for example, Jocelyn was married to a, a, a Mexican dude, had beautiful children. And Shannon was married to a white woman, had beautiful children. Like a lot of our, our family, family is, is very so multicultural. Multicultural. I mean, we, <laughs> you know, what, what's going on, Mr. E? Um, I think first and foremost, I, and this is just my observation. Y'all in the comments, let me know if I'm off or I'm on point. But I think one thing about black men is we're alpha. We're very alpha. We're very masculine. And, oh. um, and, and, we're, and we're very aggressive in our aura. Not, not aggressive as far as our character, but our aura. You know, we're so much more likely to affect an environment than the environment affect us. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. And um, we... It's, it's easy to be around a black man and feel protected or threatened. Wow. So you're saying I can't feel safe with a white man or right. an Asian no. man? I'm not going to feel just the same? No, it's just a preference. It's just a preference. But our aura tends to be a little more uh, magnetic. You know, our, our aura, it's just that we're masculine. We are the epitome of masculinity. Masculinity. And you know, I had a friend, an uh, Asian homegirl, tell me that too. That's the reason why she's been attracted to black men because they just appear stronger mm. or manlier versus, you know, Asian men. Asian men are small and, and short. And she said most and, black and men we heard are they got little penises. And, yeah, they got little schmeckles. That's what you call those things. Well, Issa Rae was out there. Now, you know, we go, we can't oh, wait man. to watch us some uh, Insecure tonight. tonight. Have you been watching Insecure? Yeah, I, I watched the whole first the, the first season. Was it the Did first? Did you even watch the second the one? The first season. Yeah, the you second. Ain't, you the ain't watched it. The I second one. I watched we on three. All the way up to this point. We okay. on three now. Well, you an uh, episode yeah. behind. I watched both of them. Yeah, I watched okay, both. you episode behind. Anyways, anyways, Issa yeah. Rae made a comment about Asian men, and right? She sure did. She had wrote a book uh, not too long ago, and basically, it was like three years ago, and now it's catching to, to everybody, and everybody's making a big deal out of it. But she had um, made a comment in her book. She said, this is why I propose that black women and Asian men join forces in love, marriage, and procreation. She said, educated black women, what better intellectual match for, match for you than an Asian male? 
And I'm not talking about the Filipinos. They're like blacks of Asians. I'm talking mm. Chinese, Vietnamese, Japanese, etc. And then she also added, so black women after college, maybe it's a good idea to settle in Los Angeles. Or no, that she added like for her as a black woman after college, maybe it's a good idea to settle in Los Angeles or anywhere else in Koreatown where it's a hot spot. So basically hey. she's saying, K-Town, hey, they're strong. You they're she going to be on that. She going to be on that boat with her friends and that's it. Listen, she also I said that, too. Black women to do that. Wait a minute, hold on real quick you before you talk women. about how she ended that. Well, go ahead and tell Because this that. is the worst part, though, where what everybody, I think, took uh, took offense to it. But she said, why women wouldn't want to marry and reproduce with men who are classified as intelligent and hard workers. So she kind of, like, excluded every other race, including black men, and saying that only Asians they, possibly a, are, Asians you know, own most of Southern California. They got big uh, condo high-rises sure. going up in downtown L.A. They, they own all the real they, estate. My boss they own all the real estate in L.A. We, <laughs> where we live is Asian. I'll see, out here in Southern California, especially, so she ain't never lied in K-Town, Koreatown, Chinatown. They got every town. But you know, some of these Asians out here are hella hood, too. They they just what? as ratchet. I met one at one of her business meetings. He looked like an Al Pacino okay. ass of an Asian. But we, they be okay, kinda... we, we get off the topic. <laughs> off the topic, Miss but they e, got I'm black sorry. in them. We just, I, mean, I know. I mean, you know. Right no, I mean, that's, I mean, that's you know, that's, she's entitled people. to that. I don't think that she's going, she don't, I don't think she has the power to get black women on that train. I think, I think at the end of the day, everything to her is about, um, Press. It's just, okay. You know, it's well, she she press. said she did make a comment on the Breakfast Club. Said she said that back in 2010, and folk out here yeah. just now talk about that in 2018. So, anyway, we got to get yeah. into these comments because guess what? This show just ain't our show, right? It's for the people. Right. right. <laughs> I hope you ready with we the uh, uh, the people want to know. Want to know? <laughs> gotcha. Okay. So, but the ladies want to know what these people are saying on here. Well, first, uh, I am Japan said we be digmatized, so she Dick looks hot. She's that Asian. Black that's the dude. home girl, but that's why she obviously be liking black men. Mm -hmm. um, Ricochet said all these mother suck. Well, I'm gonna say mother suckers, mother insane suckers. black men and women, including me. <laughs> and then uh, we are gonna skip over his comment. Wait I wanna, a minute. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just <laughs> like, Ricochet looks like he a little Asian. Asian and black. Asian. That's what he looked like. That's hella funny. Again, I want to get chose by that. What up, big tags? And then she says, feel protected part for sure. So she's back uh, back door on what you said, Mr. E. Oh, she feels they protected. Feel they feel protected by black men. And I I mean, you know I'm not what, to say Andy, that you white date man, outside of your race. I do date outside. I, let's this let point, Mr. E make a comment and then and then let's let's go ahead. We we just take over the show. Don't we? Mr. E. That's nah, cool. Let's go. Yeah, um, I want to get into you, some of those comments in my comments too okay, on Instagram. Yeah, those comments. Comments. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Go ahead. Well, well, can I speak for myself? Please do, sir. How I, many? How many? I want to know. We want to know too. How many women, white women or people outside your race you dated? But anyway, right. please go. You got to say that for the people want to know or something. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay, yeah, exactly. there like that. So listen. Uh, I, I can happily speak for myself and say that I'm happily married to a beautiful black woman, and I've already I've always been attracted to black women, mm -hmm. just black women exclusively. Um, I think that black women can relate to us; they can relate to the struggle. I think that black women are very artistic; they're very nurturing, and they're very passionate about whatever it is that they do. Whatever think, it is, yeah, <laughs> right? Yeah, strong and black without, woman. Strong. And it's just, and to be honest, okay. without uh, walking with the black woman all this journey, we just would have not made it this far as a people. So first and foremost, praise let me the go Lord, Mister E. You always you oh. the preacher of the show. Praise yeah, the Lord. I've I, I, I've always been attracted to black women. Me, you know. Now, right. I've also been in conversations with other black men about white women and other women, and that's some other stuff we could get into. And uh, you know, but <laughs> but me personally, I, I prefer black women. You can be mixed, mixed is black, all that, but I, I just like black women. Mixed is black. So I'm glad you said yeah. that. As yeah. a black man, it's good to hear that they, that, I mean, because I'll be honest with y'all, biracial people, 
I'm gonna do a I'm gonna do a documentary or a show about it. Sometimes people don't know the struggle. It's like we sometimes we not accepted by black but people. Who's to all say the way that some of these Asians and, and other people women, and Mexicans don't have the same don't. struggles? Mexicans fight for their life right now. But you know what? But I'm just saying the Hispanic culture has colorism problems. It's been a lot about that talking about like the Cardi B's and the that uh the one girl from uh Miami uh, uh Love and Hip Hop Miami Amaya La Negra. That girl, they t they've talked about the colorism issue. My stance is my family has always been very multicultural. I'm so blessed that I, I've always felt like, even though black people used to call me zebras and white people wanted to know, Oreo, what's, mulattoes, what's in your hair? Right. You know? You know what? Not. You know, it's because y'all were pretty. It, it didn't even have anything to do with y'all race. Y'all were pretty, and that was something that they could. I'm just, that they could. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. You're trying to make us feel good later. No, but you always said something good. about black skin, dark skin, and light skin. You always used to be like, oh, do you, like, you treat me like this because I'm dark skin? Y'all treat me bad because I'm dark skin. I'll be, what? That's why I don't get to talk because I'm dark. Now, if I was bright. Oh, my God. Oh my I goodness. hate you sometimes. I hate you <laughs> then sometimes. I, then then y'all would let me talk. You know, we, we got gonna, a we uh, comment here talk. from a black man. He said, I can only speak for myself, but I'll be trying to be with white women and just couldn't bring myself to it. Wow. To get okay. in it too deeply with them. So that's good. Because okay. I had another guy in my comments too say that he just could He didn't want to go out in public. He didn't feel comfortable going out in public with wow. a white woman. So, you know, but it's just didn't want to take the backlash from the family. Um, my cousin here, backlash. she says, black so men are like forbidden Thanks. fruit to white women. They were never allowed to sleep with them back in the day. You're right. They wasn't. Mm. And to have them and those beautiful black, wait, and to have those beautiful black men and always want, I can't read the rest. I'm blind as a bat. We supposed want. to have. Oh, yeah, what, like, you're not, okay, not yeah, yet. Yeah, not supposed absolutely. to have. We're going to pray for your phone, though. We're going to get the green <laughs> fix, and then one day we're going to read from a clear screen. From a clear screen. <laughs> I couldn't read on my phone, though, so I'm lying. So okay. anyways, you guys, this is a really hot topic because, you know, we're products of biracial relationships, and there, even though it, it's y'all, you know, y'all team black women right now, uh, uh, and I'm, I'm I salute that. Man. I say right. a man is but a man as long as he's a good one. At it's a point, lot of black men out there dating. I mean, we'll see Christy Teigen and John Legend. Awesome couple. Cute as they want to be. The cute, the kids are just as sweet and cute. She's biracial. She's white and Filipino. And he's a black man, but they make such a great couple. I'm like this. It's whoever makes you happy. Be happy. Life is too short. So white girls, Filipino girls, my Asian girls, all the girls Day, all over the want? world. Day, who you want love? Who you if want? If you attracted to black men, it's okay. We just try to talk about it. You said they feel more secure with a black woman. Uh, yeah. I mean, with a black man. Um, there's, a, but you know, it's just so many interracial couples out there. Uh, you and, know, Tika Sumter is married to the the white cop on the show. Uh, they have 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 not. They just had a baby. You know, the white gay cop. He plays the gay lover on the damn right. show. So your he, husband. Woo! But he's but this, fine, he's huh? but this this is something that y'all have to understand, okay? The media puts a magnifying glass and highlights interracial cultures. But the most common situation is a black man and a black woman. I agree that you should Nowadays, it's the other way around. I think back in the days, like when my mama was, a, it, it uh -uh, was more My black. mother used to be like, we duck down duck when you come down, to the job. But now, I think it's you, more you black mixed women. with black. You, we had no, no. a grandmother That's that used to saying. come meet us at the gas station. That's we was back in the men of racial days when it was a taboo thing. It wasn't that. But back in the day. The promotion in the media. What we're trying to say is, is basically back in the day, men dated more bl white women, basically, versus now, women are dating more black, or I mean, white men, because it's it, not it's as strong. It's the worst, because they didn't, they, it wasn't back in the day, you didn't have a lot of black women dating white men. It was not as open as it was versus how it yeah. is, how it was. Well, I mean, again, the same way that the, the media, um, the media put a magnifying glass on black men dating white women, I think they're doing that now. Because it's easy to get black women tuned in. It's easy to get black women tuned in to reality shows. It's easy. But why to are more black women dating more white? Is what I'm saying. They wasn't doing it like this years ago. Nowadays, even though now but interracial still, dating is more acceptable, but now you see seeing actresses and celebrities that we never even knew had white husbands. Never even I mean, knew it. I mean, it's it's hard for me to know know the answer to that because it's so many black women still marrying black men. It's, it's so many black men still marrying black women. 
We know about, we know the interracial uh, uh, situations in couples and marriages because we tend to, to, to focus on that and it tends to stand out. We give those couples more attention. But, I feel like people think it's more of a problem, though, when it's the black woman. Like, even when Prince Harry married that, that beautiful Megan lady. Megan Markle. You know, everybody, why they, you know, they hate it when a black woman goes white. But we've been accepting y'all with white women for 20 we years or so. We don't care but about now that. We, if you black hashtag don't care into, about that. Yeah, but right. we wouldn't even be black we would black men don't care about that because they only care about themselves. Sometimes black men are very self centered. Oh, and no. I, have to say, I think men in general, so I ain't just gonna say just no, black no, but, men, but I just my experiences I can only speak from a black man's perspective, okay? Because y'all, yeah. just because I'm mixed with white, don't mean that white men have ever been attracted to me and I've been attracted to them. Unfortunately, well, no, I mean, that's the reality. The only, You've never dated white. I never anything. dated have white. Have you dated My any sister, other race? Period. I have not. I've dabbled never. with a Hispanic before, and I dabbled once with a white man. Ooh, white Hispanics. penises <laughs> just don't do nothing for me. You can see them veins too, too I, much. I, huh? I, that's what I'm saying. It's <laughs> something about the veins be too light. It's too but... close to me. I, I, hella, I just start dating light skin. Like, once in a <laughs> blue moon, I would date light skin. But I've been like always women. naturally attracted to, you know, I think I was attracted to, I mean, like, I was just attracted to just what my father was like. Women, girls grow up wanting to, they love what they, you know, they daddy, you know, that's the man in their life. you know, my dad was a tall, very tall black man, and that's what and I was attracted to I most mean, of my life. But now, father is scarves. So now you got to open up all your options. So she is getting and, scarce and, and, out there, Miss Thing. Scarce out there, man. We gotta, scarce? It was scarce, oh, scarce, however you want to say it. Because there are a lot of population of black men who are gay. You can't black your blessing over There's a lot of population of, of black men that are incarcerated. You cannot black your blessing over a color. And it's a lot is of black this, men oh, that have been incarcerated, I mean, that are married. Is, so, this coming from my fellow, is this coming from my fellow black women that... That brag about how they curve men and they did. They curve no. in the process. They curve. But the white women is picking up more in the Asian women. And I'm not mad at that. We are products of a biracial relationship. We wouldn't be here if two people from different two different races didn't mix. My mama took all the shots. Because I'm gonna do a documentary on what white women had to deal with, especially my mother used to get like white they black do women take all the shots, fight. though. You walking up in here with a fine black man, bitch. I ain't got no man. I'm going to fight you. My mama had to fight black women off. <laughs> my mama was gangster. We grew and then up she in had Watts, to show them bro. that she was crazy, too. And I, you know, they were trying to walk all over you. Don't let the white or the light skin fool you. Don't That's let all it. I have to say on today. No. But y'all, what? As a, as a black man, I can, I, I can say this, too. I've never had a skin preference, but that's just me. Like, I've never had a light skin. A woman was a skin, woman. You know, a woman, yeah. A yeah, woman I mean, was a woman. And I'm like you, I dibble dabble with a white girl before, and I dibble dabble with a Hispanic girl before. And it's, 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 it's funny because it's literally one and one. It's one and one, one, me too. Just Bro. one. You know what I'm saying? We got something in it's common. Just, I wanted to read this comment, but, you know but go what? ahead. Okay. But I will say this: It was very interesting. I have a lot of okay. I have a lot to say about that because it was very, Ooh. very interesting their yes. outlooks on black men and what justified them preferring black men. And what do you know? Our culture, what do you What do culture. you know about I'm a, that? I'm gonna let Ebony read the comments and then okay. I'll come back to it. And this okay. is a comment from a white woman uh, who is only into black men. Um, but she says, I can't explain why men want what they want. But for me, as a white woman, I'm attracted to black men because that's the environment I grew up in. Yes, it's true. about your surroundings and what you're used to, swag. And as for the record, you know, because there was other guys in there saying that there was one guy that said black, uh, white women are less of a headache than black women. Now okay. that came and that came from, yeah, you know who that came from in my comments. But, <laughs> but so, but that right there, Mac Shiggity on, uh, on Instagram, shout her out, Mac underscore Shiggity made uh -huh. that comment. She is, uh, the like cousin of our, uh, biracial homegirl. Mm -hmm. Uh, what are they? Her but, mama was white. Her mama, was black. but they from the yay area. They from the Bay area. Our mother, my mother was out there in the Bay Area, and that's where it was uh, pr prostituting and pimping back in the days with yeah. Superfly, yeah. the real yeah. Superfly. Yeah. My my man, my mama got stories. She got hella stories. Okay, y'all yeah. seen them, them white women around all them black men in the seventies and stuff like that? That was Bay our Area mama. was home of the pimps. 
That's what I'm saying. She it, made that comment. It, and uh, what what is the name of their their business again? Uh, Kiss Bartique and, and then Rehab Life. The rehab, rehab, life. rehab Life. Our sisters yep, out there in Dallas. The houses, remodeling. I hey, design everything. Making She's new houses good. in the hood in Oak Cliff. In Oak Cliff. That's my hood. So okay, shout out to her. Because we, we got some money. Hey, we got <laughs> some money uh, back in Dallas too. We trying to get these houses popping in the hood because they need to be built. There's lots of empty lots out there. Lots but we gonna give them away the game. Uh -huh. That's just a little empowerment. Um, this is the Love and War radio show, the Love and War talk live show on Sunday nights. I'm your girl Delight, and I'm Ebony Mose. Hey, this your boy Mr. E, the host, the most, with the man, male perspective of the show. So I just want to talk about. Uh, all of these different type of uh, couples nowadays. We're talking interracial dating right now. If you're just tuning in, um, leave your comment. You can reach us too at loveandwartalk at gmail.com. Um, that's where you can... What up, Ijita? You know, we, we, my, my nephew hit us up last Sunday. He said, I want y'all to talk about open relationships. If there is something y'all want us to talk about, we got core DJs on right now, our fellow core DJs. He said DJs. he never dated white too, Ijita. DJ Slowpo white. said he never dibbled and dabbled with white either. Wow. What but y'all look at the Kardashians. Yeah. Look at all four you know what? Mama. white women or Hispanic. Let me, if I can interrupt, <laughs> if I can interrupt, everybody that y'all talking about is people on TV. But if we start, if we start thinking about couples that we know, majority of the couples we know is mm -hmm. all, the, all black. Nigga, it's a lot of and these niggas out here. Baby mamas is white. What you talking can I, about? Can I, can I, <laughs> it's all can right, I, too. It's but all right. Y'all in, in Cali. Y'all in the West Coast. I, we in the no, South. No, I'm talking about in Dallas, nigga. In nah, Dallas, too. Hell, they be nah, having that white girl do all the work, too. You don't be, don't but, be trying to act like. Let me. Can I tell us? And then I, throw them out, put them in a rap videos okay, too. Okay, want to tell the story. <laughs> it's the male perspective of the show. Please quick. tell the story. Okay, so when I start dating my wife, uh -huh. I had a conversation with the oldest daughter, and she had this crush on this little Hispanic kid, and I thought that was interesting. You know, I, I you know, just being around a teenage girl that's black, and you know, and so. As we having this conversation, she's talking about this little Hispanic boy that she like. He looked wimpy and weak, and I was like, "Why you don't play? Uh, you know, why, why you don't have a crush on a little black boy?" And it's interesting because now all she likes is black boys. But we go. I'm gonna go back to the story. So anyway, <laughs> the bottom line is, I was um, I was talking to her, and she told me the most interesting thing. She said, "Well, black boys don't like black girls." Wow. wow, that's a kid. Where'd she learn that from? Yo, wow. well, 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 I'm, I'm gonna tell you. But as a, as a little I black said. girl with her curly hair and as beautiful as she is, and that is your pretty. father. You right. need to continue to tell her how beautiful, how she, beautiful is. she is. Because right. these little boys, my stepson liked Hispanic girls. We live in a very Hispanic kind of a neighborhood, right. especially well, in well, Southern California. Finish. Oh, please. Well, I'm, I'm gonna finish the conversation. Oh, please do. Let me finish the story. So. The thing about it is, ironically, her mama said the same thing. Her mom, which is my wife now, her right. mom was like, "Black men, they uh, they they mostly like other races. They don't like black. They do. They do. They do. I said, I, they I do. Said, and I had to tell them. I said, you know what? This comes to show you how much work as black men we have to do. You have because to do. First of all, because first of oh, all, everybody Jesus. that y'all talked about is on TV. Y'all, black, my black women, everybody that's listening, do not let the media fool y'all into thinking that black mm. men do not like black women. We love black women. Wow. Seven, this is a statistic. Uh, the Pew Research, I think Pew Research oh. said 75%, 75% of black men are married to black women. 75%. That means, mm. that that's, means every, that's, that's every, impressive. If you put four couples in the room, three of them are married to another black woman. And Black men, we don't feel like we have to marry black women. We prefer black women. Mm, and mm. and that's just a big misconception because my, my little daughter, she watched the Kardashians and stuff all the time. Uh, my wife, she's influenced by the media. And I feel like the media is after our black women. You know what? Hey, listen, you got to listen to this comment right Ooh. now that was just okay. posted that I want to read. It's very deep. important. Okay. Cool Films, yeah. uh, he just said, question, do you guys feel that interracial couples are being pushed by the media as an, wow. uh, as an agenda to depopulate yes. the black family. Wow. Yes. 
Yes. Yes. Let's give dilute the, dilute the, yes. the population. I'm just seeing an article population. right here. It says, why so only 5.5% of black men marry white women? 5.5% only we marry white black. women? We love black men or women. We love black women. But well, it, if you look in the media, bro, everything is so interracial. And I, you, right now, know, just Googling interracial couples, I saw more black women with white men. We're white women. You know why? I'm surprised. You know why? I, I'm, I'm you, still searching for a list that got black men. Uh, you got your Tay Diggs. You know. Uh, you got Michael Ely. I didn't even know he had a man, little. Man, uh, let he said that's TV, you know. He F said F that's F TV. Yes. Uh, I mean, that's all F of F the F top F celebrity F men got women who are not black. Let me tell you something. Let me shout you something. out to you Denzel, though. Do you see how y'all talking about it? I don't even. He said the same way they pushing gay relationships. Ooh, ooh. Yeah. ooh. They pushing that, that biracial stuff. IG to said, court IG to said, um, but you know they what? They pushing the biracial dating. But the are we? That's what they do. TV but you know what? Day, really know. Okay. Kissing on TV. Yeah, I mean that is true. But we are they biracial, are, so are... we really don't take offense to it. But, but again, they, we do see it. But no, hold on. They that homosexuality. Oh, they I take are, to They that. are very much so for the children down say. our throat. Now, now, children say. Say. now and I'm not and I'm not trying to knock anybody homosexual. Come on, I'm not God, so I cannot judge. Let's enjoy the show and not go there. Okay. Let me let, let, go let, let us talk about, about this that someday. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but, but please comment. The interracial, but the interracial agenda, they are definitely pushing that because you see how y'all interact, how, how hype y'all are about it? That's uh -huh. black house. What is black households mostly made of? Black women. Black right. women mm -hmm. and the kids. <laughs> Absolutely. So, I was about to say. And the black, black women, women <laughs> have uh, black I men mean, don't black men don't really watch TV like that. With the only TV mm. we watch, yeah, we, it's maybe sports. It's maybe they, sports. They target bit. us. They target they black target, women, especially. They target, uh, uh, target y'all. Absolutely. They sit, in meetings. they sit in meetings and realize, and then black women are so, I said this in the very beginning, that black women are so passionate, and they are, when it comes to spreading things and influencing your aura, it, it's a it's the perfect marketing scheme to target. But black but, women but, the, but then you look at somebody like Michael Jordan, bro. He is the one of the most richest black men out there on the market. And I don't mean to put Michael Jordan just on blast like that, but he got a white wife. A lot of these brothers but are and I think Right, but of white course, white but now that he's a bow tie, bow tie, bow tie, bow tie Girl, millionaire, he, 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 he would have got a younger now, one. Now, who, who, who's who's that real fine actor? He took a lot of heat in the media. Oh. He was out there taking pictures with too many white girls, and and the black black <laughs> media, black women on social oh. media would get your ass. Michael B. Jordan. Oh, Girl, he was on vacation and he had way too many white. That's women how they did Tyrese. Black, or not Tyrese, but Tyson. Tyson that head. They was mad at Tyson for a minute too. Um, I wanted to read a comment from a brother in the South too. He said, uh, "Men sometimes want something different, but being from the real South, we were taught not to mess with women outside of our race. I didn't know white women exactly. like black men until I got to the D." Let me tell you. We have problems with black men, especially white. I mean, I'm be honest with you. My mm. mother, I mean, and of course, that was my mother, y'all. You know, your mother is your first at everything. So I feel my mother's passion she about us, white man. women that have to fight for what they want and what they are attracted to. Mm -hmm. My white women have to deal with a whole lot of stuff that black people don't even really think about because they just choose to love who they choose to love. And if these, right. if if that man, if Michael Jordan is more attracted to his white woman. Should Life. anybody give a damn you know, about what makes that man you, happy? Can right. I can I be honest with you? A lot of Please. times, it's not, even a, it's not even an attraction thing. A lot of times, uh -huh. uh, just like what a girl said, sometimes it's your environment, or sometimes it's your demographic, right. or sometimes it's your work situation, or sometimes it's your closest circle or your peers. It's it's a lot of different circumstances that surround. And the same thing with black women. There's a black woman that's in corporate America, and all she's around. Is white men. She go to happy hour with white men. Mm -hmm. she white men. And Asian men. Yeah, and Asian men. Now, and I Hispanic I men. I don't know many black women that's going to go for the Asian. You know, but, but I mean, you know, people like who they my, like. Hey, you know, people I have, like my, like. I promise you, I put that on everything right now. My little niece. 
has an Asian fetish. And she just I moved out here from Texas. And she is like, girl, we be walking down the subway. She be in downtown. And she be like, it's just the Asian. <laughs> she said, oh, you seen him? And she liked the little Asian group that ones. That and it's like, it's, it's, to me, it's like, it's just showing how the world is evolving. Like, you know, again, you Our accept, kids are you going to be very biracial. Whoever. You Mr. accept e. whoever for who they are, and you're going to love them for who they are. Your now, daughter but, had an attraction with how we were raised back then, or yeah. not how we're being raised now. But you know, it's very she, different. But I, I'm a, she got older, and she's and now she got a big old You never know daughter. she'll get over that. And you know what? Let and me I'm tell you, my son, my son, my grandson is absolutely beautiful. And you know what? He too damn mixed up for somebody. He is so multicultural. And, and that's what this generation, if you really look down the line, uh, even though it's beautiful when two black people procreate and two white people procreate, mm -hmm. but this world is becoming very, blended. Uh, very blended. blended. Asian, Filipino, we gonna black, swap white, ass right on. When we get him out of there, we're going to be even more blended. We Girl, need him out of there and start with him. leave Trump alone. I don't need them IRS. <laughs> I, mean, we, I don't need the that's feds. That's okay. I'm surprised no, nobody has sniped Trump. his ass yet. You, anyway, and, 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 I ain't trying to go there either. <laughs> Girl, bitch, don't have the people uh, knocking on this door. Please, she didn't mean that. She just talking stuff. Somebody, where they Lord, wonder that? I still don't need people Hey, you like know, I wanted there. to read a cousin, I mean, uh, uh, a comment too from our Please. cousin who was a black woman who has mm -hmm. biracial children from a white member. She says, I date, uh, I date outside of my race. What up, Ebony? I date outside of my race and Always have biracial have. children. It wasn't, I don't like black men. There were only few around me. I date men who pay attention to me. That's Ooh! strong. That's very Girl. strong. I date men who pay attention Mama. to me, and they just happen to be non-black. My, prefer wow. my preference is successful, strong man of God, of Wakanda, but Bob from accounting asked me out first. Her preference wow, was the nigga from Wakanda, accounting. but Bob asked her out first. You Bob know what I mean? So, won, you know, you, some of these dudes miss out on the opportunity or a good woman too, just too, because they don't want to lock her down. They don't want to do things. Again, sometimes I feel like me as a single woman, black woman dating, and now me exploring my options and dating white and, and Greek and Latin and European, whatever's out there at this point, I have to because I have dated nothing but black men my whole life, and I love them and adore them. But again, I have not had children yet have not been married yet, and I have not obviously found what I want yet. So now I'm like, okay, let me see what else is out there. And I will tell you, men that are non-black, have I have a lot more fun. I have deeper conversation. And I'm sorry to say this, but I have more to talk about. They want to know about my history. They ask about my family, not trying to just get to, to the draws. They want to go out on real fun dates. They not just the movies guy or want to come over guy. They ask him, hey, you want to go to, you know, meet in Santa Monica, want to do this. You know, have you been to this concert? Have you, you know, they're, they're more outgoing. So, okay, so, so I, I have a, a question for you. I have mm -hmm. a question for you. Do yes. you think that the difference is the character and not the fact that it's a black guy versus another guy? Because there's a, <laughs> hold on, because let me tell you this. There's a, a woman, a black woman right now, probably tuning into this show, that got everything that you're looking for in a black man. She got that as a husband. <laughs> and so you you know you have to look at that. I ain't open it that wide, nigga. I ain't open my preferences that wide. <laughs> but, you know, so so you have to look at that. Like I think it, I think it has more to do with that with the, the characters and less about the fact that they're black. Because I'm I didn't even open up the age like thing. All that stuff. Huh? I've even opened up the age, increased the age. I'm dating you older now, what? thinking, now, you know. Now that we, that's a whole nother topic. No, it is, though. But, but you start thinking, like, is it? am I doing something wrong or am I picking the wrong man? I've been dating older men now, trying to see if it's something I'm missing in that. No. So now it's like, okay, I, I do have more fun, it seems like. Well, not sexually all the it. time, but, you know. But, but, <laughs> and how about attraction, bitch? Because you know you're attracted to what you're attracted to. You're attracted tall, to what you dark. Right. Men. Oh, that's what she man. love. But she right. date outside that's of her race because these women are feeling like men, black men aren't stepping up to the level. But you know what? That's a, but people me, that's still a, of all races a, we attracted to them. And black the good men. strong black men are already taken. A lot of them are taken. No. Okay, now. Okay, that, now, okay now, go, now, go, now, Missy. Go, go Missy. I'm just saying, a lot of them are taken. Now so now all we got is the mixed nuts left out here. But but hold on, but let me tell you something. That, to me, that's you know, the girl. peanuts be left in the bottom of the can. You know how all the Bitch, good nuts be gone? Like, all me, the peanuts be left in the this. bottom, but go ahead. Let me go ahead and tell you this. <laughs> to me, to me, and I want, I want you to get mad at me when I say this, but I think mm -hmm. it's an accountability thing. Because the thing of it is, me, myself, I, I said, you know what? I don't want to be um, 
uh, teamed up with hood, hood chicks or hood rats or mud kickers or boppers. I don't want to be, I don't want to have that type of black girl no more. So I didn't go to white girls. I didn't go to Hispanic girls. What I did is I searched inside myself and tried to figure out and tap into what it is about me that's attracting those type of girls. Because I want to still stay with a black girl, but I want Are you trying to girl. say your baby mama is if was a thought or a yeah. no, I'm just playing. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> but don't but have that bottom... coming for me. We just kidding, girl. We just kidding. Just <laughs> but but the bottom line is the bottom line is I had to I had to tap inside myself. I didn't use that as an excuse to say, you know what, I'm trying something different. Because the common denominator is me. You see what I'm saying? So once I changed and, and altered some things about me, then I found a woman I was looking for, and she was black. Amen. And that goes for and that goes for black men too. That's saying, well, I don't like this type. I don't. I don't like a. I need a submissive woman, or I need a feminine woman, or I need a classy woman, or I need a sophisticated woman. Or some, some yeah, too submissive. That just yeah. means that you. I've read something just, too. They say a lot of white women are submissive to the black men, and and the black men don't like that the white or black women are just too strong. We oh, we're, we're not gonna let not you dominate us. Basically, no, we don't allow too, domination. It's not about strong. It's mm -hmm. just that we are alpha males. So. We like and you don't a want to have a female. We no, we want no, it's not gonna mix. We we want a feminine it's not uh, gonna mix. A, a feminine woman. And sometimes uh, uh a lot of black dudes, we look to white women and Hispanic women and women of other colors and uh -huh. other races for that, which is wrong to me if you like black women. Uh -huh. Now if you now if you don't have a preference, then that's something else. But it's a lot of black They men. say uh huh. They say black men black women are too opinionated. You know, I, I, I don't know. Because th this is this is what I'll say. You know, we speak what, our mind now. Yeah, but it's, it's about... Because y'all talking about all that submissiveness about, and we like real submissive women. You know, yeah, black women like speak their mind. They argue less. less. They try to say the white women yeah. argue less. I That's, said, I mean, read know, something about yeah, that. I don't like to argue either. I don't know if it's just the mama side. I don't know if it's the white side or the black side. So I'm confused. So y'all can't... <laughs> don't ask me. Yeah. Hell you mean. I know I don't you know like what? to argue right. and I'm I could be very submissive even though I'm a strong black woman. You know what I mean? So I don't but know. You know what? That's, that's a perfect example of what I was saying. Y'all are black. Y'all don't like to argue. Y'all are classy. Y'all are sophisticated. So you can find that in a black woman. The problem is with a man, as a black man, y'all look in the wrong you? places. What is it about you that keep attracting hood rats? But Ooh, see, Jesus. my thing is I'm not attacking the rest because I'm I'm dating the Bob or, or Robert She's from accounting. Bob. You know what I mean? No, I'm from dating Mark bitch, you from accounting. Bob. I'm dating the brother from accounting. I'm dating, you know, different <laughs> black guys. She dates dates everybody. Deals. I date everybody. She so what I'm saying is I don't just attract or go out the street, a thug, or those basketball but players. But you know what you like. like but you know what you like. You know, but it just says I understand. I know what I like. I know what I like. But I'm having you know, fun but those with don't other be races stepping too. up to the plate, you know. And then they got way too many options because mostly all the Hispanic girls, the Armenian girls, like the Kardashians, the the you know the blondes, and all of those type that she like. Everybody, but like I would them. get with a Dirk. I would get but, with a but, Prince Harry. Wait, I would get with her redheads. I okay, would get with but let me about that because I want to get into these white women. Let me get into these. I mean, these white men. Let's excuse me. They got some fun. I want to get into these white men that is so attracted to these sisters. And they got nowadays. real sisters, so they not all like okay. the Meghan Markles. They got real sisters. Your point, but she got her one too. Make your point, Mr. E. And then we're going to go into this, and then we got people want to know, and then we got the sex tips coming up. Because you know what? It's already 44 after the hour. We, we, we got to do another hour. We got to do another no. hour. No, we can't. We got to do another, another hour. hour, too. We got to do a part well, two. I got clothes to wash. Well, let me tell y'all something. I want to say this, woman. I want to say this. I want to say this because I got to say this for every black man that's watching right now. I got to say this. And I love my There's black man. There's a difference between us wanting to smash other races and marry other races. It's a difference. Now, black men are like any other man. We want to smash and smash and smash and smash and smash. We want to smash everybody. Everybody can come to the smash party. The but smash. as you can see, with the statistics, we marry black women. My Lord, I've seen them statistics, Mr. E. And I'm 5.5% 5. 5 of black men marry outside of their race? Lord, yeah. that is very low. In so you, so, so that, that lets you know that the narrative that they're trying to create on TV is false. I mean, they they have white women with black men on the Cheerios commercial. I said, you know what? Cole Beasley from the Dallas you know, Cowboys is married to a black woman? 
Wait a minute, Cole Beasley. The Did you rap not the Dallas Cowboys? Married to a uh -huh. black woman? Now, I love Cole. We we done been in the studio with Cole. He's an amazing artist. Great guy. Fast, produces him. Cole Beasley, he is hip-hop, but SMU, baby. He he uh -huh. hip-hop, but he the Dallas Cowboy. Uh -huh. He hip-hop, and he married him a black woman and got some biracial children. They beautiful, beautiful. Gary it's, Owen. Gary Owen is married to a black woman. Yeah. Yes, comedian Gary oh, Owen. Owen. Uh, oh, well. You know who all started this? Shout out to Bob Wild, that's my brother. Robert De Niro started this. Robert De Niro. He the white man that started it all. Robert De Niro got some soul, though. I, I love the, the men who go and get them a real sister, though. I just admire them. Not, the, not to say that they didn't go get them a one of us, a biracial, but right. I admire, like, the Mr. Biggs from uh, Sex Girl, and the City. Well, you told me he was a black, black, black woman. Black life, I, I mean, mean but a sister, brown skin. Beautiful black woman. So I love to see it that way versus. And she wanted dirt. Like, she wanted dirt so bad. You <laughs> know who killed the party with Dirk? Dirk. But you could have married Dirk probably before this chick. I show because I remember you had that stalker chick at that time. I show. Oh, was. Man, I was she was at a party with Dirk and that that nigga Drake Drizze. Oh, I got into it with Drizze over a white girl, Amaya. <laughs> right. Right. Some Dallas nights, baby. Dallas nights. <laughs> Anyways, that messed up your dirt dream. That messed up my dirt dreams. I'm trying to dirt, get to dirt, dirt man. Love I, was on, I was on dirt. Dirt man, I'm dirt type. You dirt type. Girl, I'm dirt type. So anyway, these, <laughs> what, these sisters out here lust. We just love a they good They love like I, said, I like a man as long as he's a good man, and that's why now I'm exploring okay. my options. Is that what it is? You know, a man is a man as long as he's a good one. That's Nowadays, you can't be picky. He got a job. He don't live with his mama. He got a car. Oh, okay. He ain't in jail. He, he ain't crazy. Girl. He ain't got no record. Now he ain't got no you, know what? you know, black men got yeah, it. I mean, it's tough. I, hey, I'm married to a black man. We in the scrunkle. <laughs> He got him a young black beautiful sister wife. Man. I'm telling you, and they just travel oh, the world. Lord. She gives no fucks about what anybody thinks. And about I'm over here in the struggle. Husband. But yeah. I love you, baby. I'm trying to we get in one of those. We all things. We all struggle. <laughs> when you with a black man, you trying to be like Steph. I'm trying to give me a Tilaco at this point. Bitch, you better, I'm taking you better anything. call Steffi and be like, bitch, do Mark got any friends? Do Mark got a friend? Mark's hashtag Mark's friend. Mark's friend. <laughs> and then y'all got friend. Y'all be saying this, y'all. Hashtag you watch Mark's bitch, wife. Hook up with one of Mark's friends. Hashtag Mark's wife. Hashtag Mark's friend. <laughs> y'all be saying that y'all not picky, but y'all be picky. Then no, when when, when you didn't went through the whole when you went then went through the whole lineup and you ain't picked nobody, then you got your lip poked out. I'm just saying. You know, I'll be like, God, send me a good man. Oh, not this one. He's five nine. God, send me a good you know man. What she oh, exactly. not this one. He's two. Exactly. <laughs> if he ain't tall enough to ride her ride, I said, bitch. You know, the roller coaster. That's a around. good man. Sure. DJ got IG got to in the building. Man, we got so so films. Oh, we man, got all oh, so many up. people. Ricochet, shout out to Ricochet. He got the hot song right now. I had to download it yesterday, hey, Mr. E. My boy. I said, my man, my boy. She just wants the check. She just wants the check. You yeah. know what? We gonna have to he play that so hard too. I love okay, four forty nine. Okay, four forty nine. Mr. E. People want to know because it's already people want to know. Okay, forty nine okay. after the hour. The people okay, want to know. I'm trying to get this Ricochet record up. Okay. The people want to know. You know, I'm going to shout out my boy Ricochet myself. You know what I'm saying? He, we just want man. the check. He got a new one that's coming out, man. Shout out to my boy. Um, The people want to know. Y'all pay attention. The people want to know. Have y'all ever dealt with somebody that was a different race? And what was the difference between a black man and whatever race you dealt with? You got to give me the difference. You can't say it. We're going to let Ebony to go first because I'm going to need to think about this. She ain't never been with nobody. I'm going to need to think about this. I've been with a couple of races. And okay, we'll start with you then. I would say that the black men definitely take more control 
sexually like they mm. like to 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 you know what control. I mean? control versus i think the other men are kind that. of intimidated they don't know what move to make i don't know if it's their first time second time most of the time i ask them too because i don't want to be no experiment nigga am i your first black girl your second your third how far are we so even biracial being biracial when you black i guess you know what why we consider ourselves black let's just get that out right now when you biracial you like us you know what? White people always treated us like we were not one of them. So <laughs> black people. We just identify with black. We black. We just, we felt, my mama felt comfortable. We felt more comfortable, comfortable around <laughs> black people. My grandmother, De Delise Curry, I'm named after her. My mother even named her daughter Ebony. Mm -hmm. My white mama named her daughter Ebony. And she, she named Ebony me after a strong black woman. Mm -hmm. So y'all better, y'all better say something. Okay, anyways, Mr. E. That's a good that was That's his. A good that was his. People want to know. I mean, people want to no, know. Okay. I, no, we, so, we are. We have right now. Oh, but let me say. <laughs> let me say this. That yeah. was different. I had an experience with a white man and a Hispanic man. I can't remember. <laughs> I can't remember. <laughs> it was just not my favorite. It okay. wasn't your favorite. I even had a, a, a experience with a light skinned man before. I will tell you this. It just though. wasn't my the favorite. The myth about white men or other races, other than black men, having and schmeckles. They got schlongs too. So for so the women out there, there that you think that white men don't have packages or Mexicans or whoever got now small we know pieces. Asian men don't have no small. Now, 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 you got some we talked to our Asian homegirl. <laughs> shout out to our Japan, our Japanese homegirl. She Princess. said, "I love black men because just black men are bigger." She, she said earlier, I said, Lord, have mercy. She said, "Dickmatized." <laughs> she said, "Black men are just bigger. They're just bigger." They're I stronger. said, "Lord, have mercy." That's all. You just gonna lead with that. <laughs> you just gonna lead when you go after black men because they got bigger penises. Hey, the size hey, matters. Once you we go back, have you to ask go back. Yeah. That's what they say. The and darker the berry, the sweeter the juice. All that stuff. You believe that, Mister E? Because you you hella dark skin. Hmm. I, I don't. I, I don't know about it. The darker the berry, the sweeter the juice. I can't. I can't come in. I don't know another man's size. I, you know. I, I can just, <laughs> but now we say, is the darker the berry? You know, when I do like a juice. black man, I do like mine dark. I like him from Uganda. I mean, we talking about like Michael those, Jordan, from Uganda, Jones. and Wakanda, Uganda, and Somalia. Wakanda. I like them all. What is some? Uh, oh right, man, girl, I, the African know, dark. So I'm shout green. out to uh, just all the Africans. Like we like them all from Nigeria. I love them. Uh, we like them all. That's how I like them. I like them. Ghana. Ghana. Ooh, Ghana. Ghana. I like Ghana. these American ass niggas now. Nah, I like them. Ukandas and Ugandas. They gotta, they gotta come up. <laughs> they Ukandas they gonna Ugandas. make some bread. Africans got bread, bro. Yeah. They be all about their oh, bread. Shout and everybody's a prince, man. They come over here. Everybody's they they all prince. I'm Kings prince of Mundo, bitch. <laughs> you be like, what? I got me a prince, bitch. You call your homegirl like, come to America, bitch. Come to America, bitch. I got my prince Harry right here. You can't, what is it? You got Wakanda. 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 You got Wakanda. 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 Anyway, sex tips, y'all. You know it's time. Wait a minute. Is it 540? It's be running out of time before this oh, thing starts ticking it. down. Okay, okay, yeah, because I couldn't tell you about you my know, thing. Yeah, you she ain't had no experience. She It's sex tips time. <laughs> okay, so you know how sex tips is, is pretty brought much to you by, brought to you by Ebony Mose. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> brought to you by Ebony Mose. And it's also uh, brought to you by lovehoney.com. This is where you can oh, actually Lord. purchase this product. And, you know, lately I've been doing a lot of stuff for the women, toys and stuff for us, but I wanted to do something for the fellas today because y'all don't even really yes. get into buying Girl toys. For... And some of y'all just kind of masturbate the normal way and just keep it moving. You know, just, how you no, know? How no many masturbation sessions? Y'all just hit that say? lotion pump. Hit that lotion pump twice, <laughs> nigga, and get to work with the towel and it's over with. So, so good oh, oh. use lotion. And so how they, they use that oil. Oh. You know what? That's going to be the next people want to know. That's I've watched the sessions. Know. How you masturbate? How I, many sessions have you sat in, Ebony Mo? I've watched and I've helped. <laughs> I've helped. You know and I've what? Watched. This gonna be have to be a topic one day. So we how you feel if your mate <laughs> masturbate? <laughs> That's a, this is the new toy for y'all. Okay, y'all. Desire Luxury Rechargeable Male Vibrator. It does not require batteries either. A male USB vibrator. charger. It looks like a bowling ball pin, doesn't it? Doesn't it? So that means it fits all sizes. Maybe them schmeckles don't. <laughs> Maybe, them schmeckles. Maybe them schmeckles. Maybe them schmeckles don't work. They got too much room. It's it ain't got, gonna be fit the grip. It's got about seven different settings. 
Okay, and you can actually add the luxury or, or orgasm bone for just ten dollars, which is what you just squirt in that inside on yeah. the inside. You, you put it right in, in there, the and how it works is you hit them buttons and you find the pulse that suits you best. Woo! Now, I got a couple quick reviews before we get up out of here, just so y'all know. Now, this said this guy said every man needs one. Being a yeah. first time buyer of a male vibrator, I was a bit doubtful of its abilities. Fulfilling is an understatement, <laughs> as I have never had an orgasm like it. Wow. Okay. Love Girl. the case. Love Girl. the case. By the way, it comes in a nice little shade case that is very private, and they said that it doesn't accidentally turn on while you're traveling or anything like that. Saves you the embarrassment. But the vibrations are powerful, and the different mode settings are very adamant to change your mind. <laughs> All in all, I'd recommend this to anyone that's willing to deep dive in for a male vibrator. <laughs> Couldn't be happier with the product. <laughs> wow. Okay, so that I, that's just one. I, I actually don't know if we have time to read another one. Please, but, um, that one was just, I seen a visual. That okay, like, so here's one more review, y'all, because it, it had a lot of good reviews. And again, you can get this at wow. lovehoney.com. It's only Jesus, $99. $10 for that one. Ten dollars for the orgasm it's ball. Ten dollars. So you get hundred and ten. You got the whole package. Now this guy says, I would say this is a very high quality item, but not sure if it's quite the right right one for me. Everything from the toy itself to the box and carry case has quite the look to it, and the toy itself feels very well made. It's not very heavy considering the tech inside, and it fits very well in the hand. I was lucky enough to be asked to review this desired product, and as always, it arrived boring, or boring in a brown box. But when I opened the product, there was a weird smell to it, to it that faded quickly after the wash. Okay, I'm done with this review. The product feels great for foreplay. <laughs> the waterproof material makes it extra fun, and no more searching for batteries as, as it is rechargeable. Okay, it recharges. Okay, this is the last one. Promise. Okay, because I promise you this, this the last is one. like the, the last one. The last one. I promise you. As an older man, it takes uh -huh. me some time to come. Wow. With this machine, <laughs> I can edge deliciously. He said deliciously, boy. Deliciously. I like to cycle through the modes, increasing the intensity. Oh, mode. yeah. The pleasure Increase. is exquisite. The intensity. My favorite mode is four. <laughs> His favorite mode is four. So if you buy this, try that mode four. Hey, get, get to four. He said, make it rise to the top. Keep rising. To Slow the posting. Top. This Slow morning, posting. I used the setting on moderate intensify, lying down and resting on my stomach. I had two hands free to play with my nipples. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> the slow mercy. build to intense orgasm was fantastic. Okay, Mr. E. Woo! People want to know, would you try this device? And you can try it with wifey. <laughs> okay, and what they do, wait a minute, hold on. Let me analyze this. This is a bowling pin. Me and you stick your you can search your, whole, your penis. Your penis right in that hole. <laughs> you, yeah, right in that hole. The luxury orgasm know. bomb. You gotta get that luxury orgasm bomb. And you need the bomb to go inside. Would you try it, Mr. E? You and your wife. Well, any of y'all try it. I need to know. I, I, any of the viewers. Man, would you try I, it? I don't know. I mean because okay. I'm an okay. old fashioned guy. You know, we the, ain't nothing <laughs> like the real thing. But listen, baby. somebody, some guys can't get the real thing all the time, so y'all need options. No, hey, I'm talking yeah. about, I'm talking about the right hand. The real, oh, you know, you talking about that real hand. thing. Yeah. But you know oh, what? Okay. As long as it ain't that guy that was on your Instagram account, y'all can follow her at Ebony Mose. She hmm. got a picture of this a man. Good gift. She got a man on her Instagram account oh, right now. He having dog. sex with dolls. I had to show job. three or four people. He smacked her booty on her toes, gentlemen. <laughs> and, <laughs> toe, and he got another one. He got two sex dolls on Instagram. You got another one? Girl, no, he was on your account. That was oh, you, bitch. I'm like, he got two dolls? Shit. Her, her Instagram is at Ebony Mose. My Instagram is at on air diva and that was your sex tips for the day getting you ready like Ebony hot and ready like little caesars why can i ever say that right i don't know hot ready like we're trying caesars. too hard trying too and hard. this is our <laughs> talented gorgeously chocolate uh co light eyed oh I no, we no, we're not talking about women. <laughs> this is just about you miss e <laughs> tell them how they get special chocolate let me start with your white get us 459 go ahead it's your boy, Mr. E. You can follow me on Instagram, Mr. E. Diddy, like P. Diddy, M. I. S. T. A. E. Diddy. Yeah. Y'all make sure y'all tune in. Every Sunday, Love and More Talk. Email us too, Love and More Talk at gmail.com if you got a topic or something you want us to talk about. You can be yes. anonymous. I'm at On Air Divas. Be anonymous. Y'all got to email us. Yes. This is, we on YouTube. We on Blog Talk. We out here. All that. Hey.